Hey everyone, uh, I got a bit of a bonus video for you today. Before I get into it, obviously you can enter our Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition giveaway. Just like the video, comment down below, subscribe, hit that bell icon. But let's get into the nitty gritty here. We're talking about Unreal Engine 5, and we're talking about PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. And I want to uh, react to this. Um, I've already seen it a couple times, and it's absolutely incredible. We also have some additional information that has come out after the fact about this uh, tech demo. There was a Q&A section and all that stuff that, that uh, Jeff Keighley did uh, with the developers and all the stuff at Epic Games that created this demo, because this is a tech demo. Now, this is being confused um, as being a PlayStation 5 tech demo demo i've seen some reactions out there won't you know call anyone out specifically but i've seen some reactions out there that are that are misrepresenting uh what this is this is not a playstation 5 tech demo it is a tech demo of a new engine that is running on playstation 5 so what this is is a tech demo of unreal engine 5 running on a playstation 5 it does not mean this tech demo cannot run on an Xbox Series X or a PC. This is just showing um, some of the capabilities of the engine. Now, we see um, all the time at reveals of, of engines, of whether well, it's Unreal Engine or whatever the case might be. Unreal Engine is one of the most popular ones out there, uh, whether it was the original, you know, 2, 3, 4, and now 5. They always have really, really impressive looking things. And the actual games we end up getting on those engines don't always live up to the initial tech demo of that but i think the idea of this demo and it you know running on a playstation 5 the point of the demo was to show that this is going to be more close to what you can actually create in unreal engine 5 so i'm just going to play this demo in the background and kind of talk about things as as it's happening and, and things talk about things that i want to highlight and um I guess the well, one of the biggest things uh, I suppose this engine's doing, and again, this was always going to be possible on better hardware with better engines, because engine development is more important than power. You can throw all the power in the world, but if the engines aren't more advanced. That power is not going to matter. And a big thing you see in here is more uh, photorealistic uh, environments. You're seeing um, environments here that uh, are kind of what you know they describe as what you would see in a movie. If a movie was putting um, you know, like, like say the Avengers movies or something, those Marvel movies where a lot of stuff's happening on green screen, a lot of the stuff you will see on that green screen, if it's not actual footage of places, it, it will be actual um, captures of places that have been put into a computer and rendered out in this fashion uh, to make it look more photorealistic. Essentially, this is the kind of stuff you would see from movies, not traditionally video games, especially in the rock formations. And it's because there's billions and billions of triangles that they have been able to condense down to millions of triangles. I think they said 16 plus billion or whatever and they condense it down to 20 million triangles and the triangles that are like the size of what it used to be an individual pixel which is where you're getting all this high quality fidelity from um, and the big thing with this engine is they essentially created a new lumen engine uh, for lighting which is just more realistic lighting notice we're not talking about ray tracing we're not talking about anything um, you know crazy here we're talking about this specific engine has its own lighting and you're just seeing them kind of turn the lights off and they're gonna you know this is what when they turn the light off that's without lumen this is with lumen on they can move the light source around everything's really dynamic and you're going to see that throughout this demo that's a huge thing that they feature um and beyond that is obviously their ability to compress billions of pixels uh, or billions of triangles into millions uh, and make it something that is imperceivable to us as humans um as people you know we, we have uh, uh, the uncanny valley effect, basically, where things become so realistic um, that you can't tell the difference between real life and the game. Now, I can still tell this is a video game. Not everything in it, I would say, is um, to that that level of photorealism. Um, mostly because I, I feel like you know there was so much focus on the environment, so much focus on say her clothing. You know, they talk about that cloth at one point because they introduced a new physics engine. Um, that uh, the character model itself, I think, you know, is kind of a giveaway that it's still a video game. There's less focus on the character model, more focus on the environment. Um, you know, I mentioned these bats are, are, are being done with a new technology as well, a new rendering technology. And what, I, what I'm seeing here is maybe the most impressive thing we've seen out of next gen. Uh, we've had some gameplay reveals for Xbox Series X, which um, didn't feel like actual gameplay. A lot of it was like cinematics. Um, and even then, some of it's like current gen stuff that's just like, you know, best played on, on Xbox Series X, not made specifically for a next gen system. Um, and obviously from Sony's side, we've seen 
pretty much nothing. Um, this would be the first thing, and a lot of people popping this up as, man, this is an impressive debut for PlayStation 5, and it's definitely a really impressive thing shown running on PlayStation 5, but let's not kid ourselves. This is going to run on the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X is from all developers that the stating it, it's a little bit more powerful than the PlayStation 5. Um, they do talk throughout this video and throughout the interview that the PlayStation 5 was easy to work with in development of this demo and in development of, um, you know, their engine, but this engine is clearly going to run on Xbox Series X and PC, and it's probably just as easy to develop on those platforms as well. What we need to remember, PlayStation is not using some secret sauce here. Um, it's using PC architecture. So is the Xbox Series X, so are PCs. So whatever you're doing on uh, PlayStation's front that's so easy, it's equally easy. This is obviously just more of a Sony paid for this. <laughs> right? Sony paid for this debut of this demo to be exclusive on PlayStation instead of them saying, we're gonna here's what it can do on a PC, here's what it can do on Xbox. They're just Sony paid money. They they threw a paycheck out there to get this demo to to kind of be their their reveal of gameplay on the on the system. Now this demo is just a demo. It's never gonna become a full fledged game. But I think what's really important here is seeing like how the bugs are reacting to the light. Um, you know that that's just something we haven't really seen in games too often, especially at that that number of bugs and beetles. Um, and you're gonna later see her like fly through the air and, and just how crazy this is. And some people are like, "Man, this must be rendering in 4K and 8K." And while this video, the feed that I'm playing uh, for you guys, you guys are getting this in 1080p. Uh, but the video that I'm actually playing, and I'll link it down in the below, is you know in 4K on YouTube with YouTube compression. This demo is not actually running in 4K. This needs to be stated because some people think that like everything you're seeing in this demo uh, is crazy and it must be 4K or 8K. It's not. Um, it's 1440p. The game is running in 1440p and then being upscaled to 4K. Uh, and that's a good thing. I want to put this out there as a gamer. It is a good thing that this is in 1440p because 1440p is the sweet spot. A lot of people view resolution as the be all end all of debates. Is it true 4K? Is it checkerboard 4K? Is it this? Is it that? 4K is not the fight for next gen. The fight for next gen needs to be about creating, um, in this specific art style anyways, more photorealistic uh, things, better AI, better um, interactions with environments and lighting. The, the fight needs to be to take what we can already do with games and just make it all infinitely better, not just resolution. Um, and so I think that's what's exciting here is this is running at 1440p. It's probably 30 FPS. I, 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 I can't tell by looking at it if it's, if it's 30 or 60, but I think... I feel like uh, there was a moment when she like put her hand on the door and moved in that it looked like there was a little stutter. So I'm, I'm guessing it's 30 FPS, you know, maybe not locked 30, but, uh, and that's fine. Like this isn't a real game. This isn't something we're going to get to play. Uh, developers might get this demo packaged in with them, but it's not a real game. It's not something that um, us as consumers are really going to be messing with and be able to play um, unless Unreal Engine 5 ends up being free and then we can do whatever. But I, that probably won't be the case at first. In fact, they announced at the end of the video that this engine's not available till 2021. Obviously, developers have the engine. Just there won't be any games coming out made in Unreal Engine 5 until next year. Uh, and obviously, we assume, uh, you know, epic owns unreal engine so we assume that they're going to do things like introduce it into fortnite and all that eventually um and see what what differences it can make in that game which isn't necessarily a photo realistic game um you know this is the scene i was talking about where she's flying to there and everything just looks absolutely incredible um the destruction of the environment um they talked about how sound you know that they're, they're they've in, in, improved on sound where you can hear sound from different areas and i know sony emphasized that as well but again it's not a playstation exclusive thing it's an engine this is an engine demo i think that's one of the biggest messages i wanted to get across and no folks this is likely never going to run on a nintendo switch i'm not saying it won't be scalable i'm not saying we suddenly won't see unreal engine 5 games appear on a playstation 4 pro or an xbox series x that's entirely possible i just don't think that as consumers, we should expect this to be on a Nintendo Switch. Um, but that's just my my two cents on that. Um, you're just seeing the logo unveil here for Unreal Engine 5 at the end. Um, I'll kind of back up a bit so you guys can see a little bit more of that gameplay. Um, and I, I honestly think that uh, this is a really good thing for the industry uh, because this is where you're going to start seeing 
um, you know, the difference between current gen and next gen. A lot of what you're seeing in this demo has never been done in current gen because it can't be. The amount of rocks falling, the this level of detail, this is where you see that next generation leap. And is it as impressive as going from standard def to HD? No, nothing's ever going to be as impressive as going from a 360p slash 480p jumping up to 720 and 1080. It'll never be that impressive, but it doesn't matter. This is still impressive on the surface. This is next gen. This is the stuff that we could talk about how Switch can't do this right you know we talk about how a lot of games made in current engines that are out there can still come to switch like witcher 3 but if witcher 4 or whatever's being made in the future is made on this yeah we're not getting that on switch um, and that's where nintendo will need to advance in technology again this engine's going to be scalable unreal engine 4 was scalable all the way down to phones this engine will be scalable as well probably all the way down to phones too so it's not something that's not possible in a future switch or a switch pro or you know a switch 2 definitely could have newer technology that could run um not necessarily maybe at this fidelity but could run something similar uh but yeah i think this is exciting this is uh what as gamers we should be more excited about than the tech specs we always focus on the specs of the system xbox series x is more powerful more teraflops more this than the playstation 5 playstation 5 might have a faster ssd although i'm sure the xbox one's pretty comparable i think that in the end um, the engines are really where you see a lot of the technological advances being taken advantage of. I don't think there's anything in here that PlayStation 5 is doing that Xbox Series X can't do or that a PC can't do. I think this is mostly just an amazing look at what a next-gen gaming engine can do. And Unreal Engine um, is trying its best to make make creating photorealistic uh, environments like this more easy to do, even than it is to do for, say, movies which invest you know millions and millions and millions of dollars into trying to get a look like this uh with green screens and all that and doing it in the game needs to be a little bit easier because it's hard to import you know 20 billion uh pixels you know when they show that statue at one point they said i think that statue alone was 16 billion or 20 billion uh triangles and then obviously they condensed that down and they had that room with a whole bunch of those statues i just think this is a great look at the future i don't think there's anything to be concerned about um you know at this point with this demo this demo is practically perfect the way it is uh for what it is it is a look at unreal engine 5 running on next gen hardware um and this is the most next gen of next gen things we have seen um and i think that's just really really cool um obviously it's a good look for sony because a lot of people are thinking you know well this is the first look at gameplay on a playstation i can it's a tech demo tech demo not real gameplay tech demo um but uh yeah it's it, it's impressive i i gotta i gotta give uh, epic and unreal engine 5 um a lot of a lot of credit here like that's the statue i was talking about with all those pixels this is a, this is a great look at uh what a, a photorealistic um graphic style is going to look like next gen uh in the games that get off of the older engines onto the newer engines not that you can't get some good stuff out of the older engines but this is, it's these new engines that are going to show the true power of uh, next gen technology so i'm, I'm pretty I, next gen technology it's current technology folks it's current technology um uh, but it, it, it's it, it's it's done in a, a better way so pc gamers should be thrilled to see this uh xbox gamers should be thrilled to see this sony gamers should be thrilled to see this even nintendo gamers um you know this it isn't necessarily something you I mean you're not seeing this on a switch uh but uh, we can be interested in what the future of Nintendo may hold as these engines might become more and more possible to be on there. Um, this also you know, kind of sets the bar. You know, What's next for EA after the Frostbite engine? Because the Frostbite engine can't do this. So what's next for, for them? What's next for Ubisoft? You know, They still don't even have their, uh, their, engine that they, uh, their newer engine running on every single franchise. And now here we have Unreal Engine 5 stuff. And we're like, hey, look at the new tech. You know, what are you going to do about that? Do you, are you just going to keep modifying your engines or are you going to create something that takes advantage of it? Um, you know, we've never had SSDs native in these systems before, so are we going to take advantage of that? Um, it, it's just incredible. I'm excited for next gen. Um, I know I'm a Nintendo guy. This is Nintendo Prime. I am Nate from Nintendo Prime, but I love all of gaming, um, and I can't wait to get a PlayStation 5, get an Xbox Series X. Um, I have a, a gaming-capable PC already that I game on. Uh, I can't wait to experience you know, true next-gen experiences, uh, which are going to feel um, like 2021 is the earliest we're going to get something uh, with a next-gen engine. Uh, probably realistically 2022, 2023, uh, when games are fully developed using just those engines. I think Unreal Engine 4 is going to stick around for a while because it's also an incredible engine. It's just not this. I mean, yeah, what, what is there to say? They did an incredible job on this demo. So 
Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nintendo RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Let me know your thoughts on Unreal Engine 5, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, next gen. Is this finally what you guys needed to see to know what is possible uh, with these new systems that you cannot do with prior systems, at least once these new engines come out. Um, is this what you needed to see? Are you disappointed it's not true 4K? Does that matter to you that it's not true 4K, that it's just upscaled? Personally, I think there's a lot more that goes in the visual presentation than resolution, so it doesn't bother me. I don't watch my movies in 4K generally, um, so I'm okay. Even if they're 4040p upscaled, I, I wouldn't really care. Um, 1440p to me is a sweet spot between visuals and resolution and, and uh, all that. I think most of next-gen games should target 1440p in my opinion. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.